Simply Food by T.Y. Hey everyone, welcome back to Simply Food by T.Y. So look, today I am going to be showing you guys how I make my country style barbecue pork ribs, honey. And let me tell you something, if you ain't got a man, you gonna get one today. If you ain't got a woman, go and make this recipe. Should be in the bed with you by night time. <laughs> so look, if y'all want this recipe, stick on around and come into the kitchen with me. See you soon. So as you guys can see, I have roughly about four pounds of country style boneless pork ribs here. Now, of course, if you don't have a pack that this big, I got this from Costco, you know, just get it from your local grocery store and you can just adjust the seasonings as you see fit. So first things first, let me just go over what some of the ingredients are. We have onion powder, parsley, ground black pepper, slap your mama Creole seasoning, seasoning salt, thyme, and then I also like to use Grillmates Applewood Rub. This is their pork kind. You can use this or you cannot. I just like it because it gives a nice little smoky flavor when you're cooking this during the winter time. And then you're also gonna need a little bit of olive oil. Now this is just simply what we're gonna use to marinate the ribs. And then I'll come back later on and then I'll show you guys how we actually prepare it. So for now, let's start working on getting our seasonings and the marinade ready. You wanna let these sit for, I say, about maybe two or three hours. Really let all of those seasonings really go into the meat. So I put maybe about two tablespoons of olive oil. And then what I do is I take a really nice sharp knife and then I just puncture all of the ribs because I wanna make sure that all of the seasoning goes deep down into this meat. You're not trying to you know, tear it up, but just a few holes is good. Okay, so now that we've done that, we're gonna go ahead and start putting on our onion powder. Now, this is the one thing. If you guys are new here to Simply Food by TY, my mission when it comes to teaching people how to cook is to not have people so fussed about actual measurements. I don't want you guys to feel like, oh, well, if I don't know the actual measurement, I can't cook it. No, honey. What you have to learn how to do to be a real good cook is to know how to eyeball it. Figure out what your palate is like. If you're a person that really doesn't like a lot of onion, then you know not to add too much onion powder. If you're a person that doesn't like too much salt, then you know to go lighter on the um, seasonal salt. You know what I mean? So watch me as I eyeball this. Pretty much I do a lot of my cooking based off of the color of how the food looks. I don't really get too fussed about actual measurements. And when anytime you're cooking something that's pork related, for the most part, you're going to need to heavily season it anyway because pork can be extremely bland. Now, when I say heavenly season it, I don't mean put a lot of salt because pork does have a lot of sodium in it. But again, everyone's palate is different. So that was roughly about a tablespoon and a half, just in case, you know, if you if you really are desperate for that measurement. We're going to put some black pepper. Oh, shoot. Hold on, y'all. I forgot to take the damn thing off. <laughs> I hope y'all babies are having a nice holiday so far. Getting ready for the holiday season. This is actually something that you could make for your entire family. Um, and they will absolutely love you for it. That's for sure. And if you don't want to put this in the oven, honey, you can pop these things right into the crock pot and leave them. So now we're putting on our black pepper. Okay. Guys, this already smells delicious. It's something about onion powder the second it touches meat. Okay, our black pepper is now on. We're going to go ahead and add in our Slap Your Mama Creole seasoning. So if, if you are nervous and are worried about actual measurements, I will say just go ahead and do a tablespoon of each of the following that I've done thus far. Okay, that's that. Now we're going in for the seasonal salt. Again, if you are one that cannot have a lot of salt, be mindful of how much seasonal salt you put. <clears throat> because we're also going to be dousing this in barbecue sauce, which also has salt in it as well. So that's going to be enough of that. We're going to put some thyme. Now these are thyme leaves, just so you know, not ground thyme. I'm not too keen on that. I think thyme goes great with anything that has to do with pork especially when you're gonna do a slow cook. And now for this apple wood here, I only put a little bit, not too, too much, just enough 
to give the smoky flavor. So that's about all of that we're going to do. So now what I'm going to do, roll these sleeves up, honey, and just really get this stuff all worked into this meat here. Get it all nicely flipped around because you want to make sure that all of your meat is seasoned completely throughout. Let me move these seasonings out of the way so that I can slide this back for you guys just so you can have a little bit of a better view. Slide that back a little bit. Can y'all see that okay? There we go. So we're getting those all nicely mixed in together. Like so. And as you guys can see, you can see how nicely seasoned that is. Now that we've done this part, I'm gonna go ahead and add in our parsley. And then that's the last step as far as marinating them, you guys. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put these in a very large bowl and put them in the fridge with some cling wrap for about three hours. Once that's done, I mean, you can do it overnight if you want, honestly, that's kind of really all up to you. After that, guys, you can put this in a Dutch oven. You can put it in a crock pot, put some onions on it, pour some barbecue sauce over it, and that's it. But don't worry, I'll take you guys step by step on how we're gonna finish this off. But I just wanted to show you guys how to marinate it first. So our meat has been nicely marinated here. Okay. So that's that, you guys. So now that our country style pork ribs have been nicely marinated, let me give you guys a close up view right here. I've now transferred them all over to a glass bowl. So what I'm gonna do now before we put it into the fridge is you wanna take yourself some Worcestershire sauce here and then you wanna put about two tablespoons worth in the bowl. I've already done that, but I just wanted to make sure that I told you guys that step. So like I said, for now, we're gonna put some cling wrap on this, pop it into our fridge, and then when we come back in about four hours, I will show you guys what the next steps are before we pop it into the oven. A few moments later, a few inches later, two hours later. All right, y'all, so we are back. So as I said, I had these marinating in the fridge for about four hours. So now what we're going to do is, is transfer these over to our Dutch oven. Now, if you do not have a Dutch oven, it's completely fine to use whatever type of baking dish that you have. Don't, don't get too caught up on that. But this is what I'm going to be using. So the first thing first, I'm going to transfer these over into my pan. And then after that, I will be chopping up two small yellow onions and I'm gonna be putting in about a half of a container of some chicken stock. Um, but first, like I said, we're just gonna transfer these right on over to our Dutch oven, like so. These smell divine. So let's get this bowl out of the way. And as you guys can see, I've transferred those over. All right, y'all, so like I said, so now I have two small yellow onions here that I'm going to chop up. And I'm just going to put those right in this pan here. It doesn't really matter how big or how small they are. You're just getting them in the pan. It just adds additional flavor to your dish. So we're just going to open these up really quick. I have our onions here. And like I said, I had two small onions that we're just going to chop up. They don't have to be in any particular size. This is just to add an extra flavor to the dish. So we're just going to pop those right on in there. Let's get those in there nice and quick. Our oven is already preheated at 350 degrees. This is going to cook for, I say, about almost two and a half hours. They'll be completely tender. They'll be just completely falling apart, which is the way I love it. So like I said, I'm just getting these onions in. If you're not someone that likes onions, by all means, you can omit these. You don't have to put them in there. If you have some green pepper, you can throw some green pepper in there as well. Okay, so we've put our onions in. So like I said, I've transferred everything over to this pot and I've also added in two small yellow onions. So what I'm gonna do now is take some chicken stock and I'm gonna cover this about halfway. You don't wanna cover it completely, but just about halfway to keep the moisture in. And after the first hour and a half, guys, so for the first hour and a half, you're gonna cook it with the top on. And then after that, we're gonna take the top off. And then that's when we're gonna add the barbecue sauce. Alrighty, so as you guys can see, I've added in our meat. I've put in two small yellow onions. 
and I've taken some chicken stock and put it about halfway up the pan. So now I'm gonna put the top on this, pop it in the oven for the first hour and a half with the lid on. Then after that, we're gonna take the lid off and then that's when we're gonna add the barbecue sauce and cook it for about another hour. So I'm gonna pop this into the oven, which is preheated at 350 degrees and I will see you guys when this bad boy is all done. Alrighty guys, so like I said, this has been in the oven for about an hour and a half. So now I've taken the top off and I'm just adding the barbecue sauce and then I'm gonna pop this back into the oven for roughly about another 45 minutes and then when we come back, you guys will see what the end results are. Alrighty guys, and here it is. This is the final product. These are my barbecue country style short ribs. I hope you guys tried this recipe and if you do, Make sure you tag me, Simply Food by TY, and I will see you guys next week. Bye. Simply Food by TY.